Hi Floss Tube, it's Narissa from Narissa's Stitching Lifestyle. Welcome. Um, it's Easter weekend. Yay! <laughs> um, extra day off work, gotta be good for you. Uh, let's see, so that means it's the end of March. Boy, has this month flown by. I don't know what happened, where it went, but it's gone. Um, my last face-to-face -face video, I guess, was um, beginning of March. And um, this one will be a recap of basically the month of March and what I've stitched and stuff. Um, in between, I did film my sampler wall. So if you haven't seen that, please go and have a look at the video before this one. Um, I took my samplers off the wall one at a time and showed close-ups of them and did a little bit of talk about them. Some of them I forgot to say what fabrics and threads and stuff were used. Um, but I, I did let you sort of see close-ups of the videos and of the, um, the stitching and things like that. So it was a wee bit different. Um, but it seems to have been liked and everyone has given me lovely feedback. So thank you. Okay. Um, what else? It's probably pretty much it. Uh, let's see. We will jump into the mess that is beside me. Um, and I will insert the photo here. And we will talk about everything that's in that basket. So, should have been a video insert or a photo inserted in there. Um, sorry, excuse me. Drop something. Um, and that that shows you what we've got to talk about today. There's been a wee bit. Um, let's start with the crochet retreat very quickly. Um, I held it the second weekend of March, and um. Was absolutely wonderful. Debbie and your team did very well. It was a lovely space. We're out by um, the beach at New Brighton in Christchurch. So the first day we could watch the surfers and <laughs> it was kite flying and it was actually really nice. Um, second day was a little bit more chilly and the breeze had picked up and the sea was a little bit rougher. But it was it was a lovely location, nice and bright and sunny, um, just nice and open and eerie. Really, it was great. Um, let me see. So on the Saturday we went to the retreat. Um, got got our goodie bags and stuff. So there's a few little things to show you from in there. Um, Debbie did really well. It was wonderful little bits and pieces in there. Um, so just a couple of hands inside our goodie bags was three three little wee bags and bling. So some needle threaders. Um, a little wee charm and they're in the shape of an angel because Debbie's craft uh, store in New Zealand is called Angel's Crafts um, and you can order online through them. I don't know if she ships internationally. Debbie, you'll be able to answer that in the comments. Um, and then another little bling and I got a little sort of peachy flower one which is really, really cute. Um, an all bag. Now I know Debbie made a lot of these. Um, and very well assembled. Lovely. Um, inside was also a box from DMC, which contains some thread and colours and some linen. Thank you, Jude, for swapping sizes. Um, and it does have a pattern in there, though I don't think I'll do the design, but the threads will always come in handy. Um, and also in there was some um, DMC friendship for th threads which my granddaughter has spied and I am sure I'm going to lose those to her which is absolutely fine she's got to have some fun okay so in the goodie bags that everyone received um, there was a pattern and a design and I didn't don't know where I've put it but that's okay um so in their bag they got the pattern fabric um which your choices were the linen or um ada and they got the pattern and the in the cushions and stuff to be able to stitch it up i was one of debbie's little helpers and i stitched mine previously so this design was uh done by nicole from north island stitcher 
she designed it she does have a floss tube it's very cute it's um equivalent to the architecture of some of our older buildings and stuff that we have in the city center um, especially new regent street or regent street but yeah so um the beads weren't included but i added beads on mine just to give it a bit more depth um and there were five of us that five yes that um stitched a model of this um and we all turned them into something different so i made mine into just a little wee needle book with scissors needles and pins and this one has a magnet underneath so you can just throw it on there if you need it to yeah so that was my little wee Christchurch retreat 2024 um so that that was lovely enjoyed enjoyed stitching that it was a bit monotonous all that lovely solid color but that's okay it's only because that's normal <laughs> i normally stitch um we went out for dinner caught up with friends all that sort of stuff we were at a retreat um on the last or oh, second day i'd say last day but last day as well um of the retreat i took a finishing class and it's five six of us um and the ladies showed them how to and they all finished their own little week ornament just a round ornament they had to have stitched something beforehand um and they learned how to lace the bag put them together and put their cording or their um thread on they did exceptionally well and i will insert a photo of the finished ones that they did especially um because some of them had never hand sewn before so was a little bit different for them but this was the little wee one that i did and finished um, in the class it's very cute um and i haven't finished mine i can't find my my jar of bells i want to put some bells on the bottom of it so when it's on the tree it knocks around a wee bit um but yeah i need to dig a bit deeper in the wardrobe <laughs> i think they're hiding in there but very cute um so that was really a retreat Took a few things for the um, freebie table, picked up a couple of little wee things, a um, couple of ornament packs and things like that that were there. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. I would like to, um, well, we're talking about retreating that weekend, I would just like to quickly say thank you to Jude for having me come and stay. Um, it was nice to sort of not be home alone and, and that it was great to be part of a group um, for that weekend because normally Jude and I are travel companions and go away together. So um, being in our home city, we <laughs> just thought well, we'd still get together. Um, so that was great. Um, and to the lovely ladies that all came and had a look through my house um, and seen my stitching up on my walls and things. Um, thank you. Thank you for the lovely comments and thank you very much for coming and seeing my place. It was lovely to have some visitors um, that understand the madness. <laughs> of a stitching and how obsessive it can be so really appreciated really appreciated Jewel coming um for i don't know over about three weekends there was quite a few different people through my house for that reason um so yes some people have seen my samplers in person and i'm very lucky okay so after retreat i was in a finishing mood um not so much sorry not so much um stitching finishing but finishing finishing so i wanted to get a few things and i dug into i have two big containers full of um stitched smalls and mediums um even a couple of stitched larger ones in there that haven't been finished and i need to i need to start doing some real serious finishing um so i pulled some out and a go at finishing some of them um so the first one is an older one it's been let's try to see if i can find a decent picture of it in the book it is a from blackbird designs and it is in my heart is true booklet now i do not know if this is still available i have not looked it up to say um and this little wee one on the back is actually the one that i had stitched and i'm meaning stitched Oh my gosh, a good 10 years ago. Easily. Sure, 
because this came out and I didn't buy it when it first came out, but it wasn't long after it. Um, there's a few others I've stitched in this as well that are really nice. I'm just trying to see if it's got a date. 2009. 19. Yeah, so probably about, mm, yeah, at least 10 years ago. Oh, I'm just going to lean a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'm going to put these in any particular. Now, I had... Done. Done. I had sewn or well, stitched all of these. I had sewn, made the little pockets, and I'd done the back piece. Um, it's not perfect, but I had to put the binding on, and I had some issues, and I still have issues, so it may still be unbacked. Um, but for now, it is finished, and it is gorgeous. It says all day long and all year through, best of all the things I do, I like being friends with you. And it's just sweet. It's a sweet little wee poem. But of course, in the lovely Blackbird design colours. Um, so that sits up on, just up on the bookshelf now. And if you're interested, other than the booklet, the chart is just called Friends With You. Um, so I don't know if it ever came out in a single or not, I don't know. But that's the booklet again. So that was the first one, though I may still unpick that binding and do it again. We'll see. Um, the next one I finished um, is in the another Blackbird Designs one, so fully finished, is in the Honey Suckle Manor booklet. Um, and the one I stitched was a summer house and pin cushion. Now I stitched mine on 40 count. Um, using the cool full colors, but I, I dyed the fabric myself. So it's come out just slightly different. Uh, my round is not exactly round, it's okay. And this is my finished one. Stitched on 40 count, uh, yeah, 40 count fabric that I dyed myself um, using the called for cottons, which were Wheat Style Works, Cappuccino and Peach. Um, so they're very light. And it does stand out in person, absolutely wonderful. Love the little ABC in that house at the bottom. Um, and that is my backing fabric that I chose. And it is filled with, um, Crushed walnut shells. Just a little wee bit. But yeah, gorgeous. Glad to have that finished. Um, I did finish stitching it last year, I think, or the year before. So that was really nice. Okay, so another finish that I did. Three finishes, and I've got another three that are like halfway there. Um, but I'll save those. I'm, they're not finished finishes yet. Um, so the next one I concentrated on was Stacey Nash. And it is Summer Pomeg Pomegranate Needle Book and Pin Keep Set. Should that clear off. Should take me out of the plastic. Um, but yeah, that was gorgeous. So here's my, just my cushion. Just done in the back. Uh, stitched in DMC threads and on 40 count. It's just a very simple... That's my background fabric. And then, now this was fun. This was the fun part. So this is the front of the needle book. It's all stitched beautifully. The back of the needle book, which you also stitch. So it has cording on the outside. Um, and I put a piece of, just a piece of lacy that I had lying around. Um, and then on the inside has the coordinating fabric to the back of the cushion. And just put the, I took the needle out of the other day because I, <laughs> I needed to find a needle. <gasps> My darning needle was sitting in here. Um, and just a, some felt for needles. Um, but you actually lace it all together in the middle here as well. But oh my gosh, so much fun. Definitely will be um, finishing another couple of them that I have. It's 
All right. Just in case you're interested in the pattern. Here it is again. Stacy Nash Primitives. And it is the... What do we call it? Summer Pomegranate Needlebook in Pinky. Absolutely gorgeous. So I love how that came out. They were my three... Three big finishes, or fully finishes, so absolutely wrecked with those. Um, let me see. All right, should we start some whips, eh? I'm just going to move my chair just a little wee bit. I feel like it's falling off. Okay, these are these are just being put in the, in the basket. They are out of order. I have no idea kind of what I searched when I searched, apart from a couple of them. So this one here, and it's a super awesome bag because I'm still trying to finish a couple of project bags. So let me do that this weekend. Um, is Lucy Nevia, 1818 from Hands. She was Queen of the May in 2019. This is the one that was big tree here is all those French knots. The bullion, bullion stitch. And that's what it was called. Bullion. Yes. Long bullion in French knots is what is in this tree here. Can't wait. It's beautiful. So hands across the sea designs. Uh, so out. Right. right. So this I've worked this is my leap year. Leap year stitch along. Um, so I started it on the 28th of, or oh, 29th, sorry, 29th is the leap year, wasn't it, um, of February, and I couldn't find my boards, I don't know where I've put them, I hid them away, and it's cleaning up, um, and I had basically done this little wee middle one, apart from the blue bottom of it, and these two here, just below my fingers, um, so these guys, in this little section, and along here, so that's that's the middle of the top. So yesterday wasn't at work and I stitched. I only stitched for part of the day on this one. But this is now this little triangle bit down here is at the side of the top. So we're from halfway to the side across the top of it. And she's gonna be a big girl because here's the here's the whole piece. And as you can see, because this is on, what did I put this video on? She is on. Good. Nice and on. I will have two seconds, please. I have it written down somewhere. She's on 40. 40 count. 40 count that I died myself. But oh my gosh. Those blues and the red standing on there. So the colour that goes around here um, is DMC 3828. And I had two strands of it left. So, to finish those off, I need to go shopping and buy some more DMC. But that's okay. But that was my leap year progress on Lucy Nivea. Um, so, I have four years to kind of get her done. Um, and I'm sure she'll probably even take longer than that. We'll see. We're just going to try and do around that 29th at least a day of stitching. Okay, so another piece that I worked on. And Dale, 1827, big and beautiful. It is a black and white one. I'm sorry about that. It's got my printer printed it out. She's lovely. And sit that there. Um, now, she is on a piece that I dyed myself. She's been stitched on 36 count. I might have to try and go back. This is, oh, she's big. 
this is the whole thing. And that's my arms stretched out tall and we still can't reach the bottom. Okay. So. I did prep this ready to take to retreat and I didn't even pull it out because I was just going to work on like this green fill here, you know, just filling in, but I didn't. I worked on, after retreat, I started the one over one wording, which is a bit of fun. And then on the other side in the middle, oops, we have to fold it around, um, I started these these two here finishing these off so there's only one more two nope one more one two one two yep one more to go and that row then will be finished okay just fold it up so we're making progress um not too worried about it and that but we'll just pull it out and work on it a little bit 36 counts so that's easy to take um we can go for stitchy meetups or anything like that just a sit and stitch i can see that quite easily without my magnifier and lights and stuff um so yeah hendale she's making progress she's good they all are i've, I've made progress on on quite a few which is nice piece of hair um all right so another one that got pulled out and worked on in march oh so many so many projects okay was smith sampler by the skylight house loved the sampler for such a long time but it's one of those ones that when you when you pick it up, if, for me, if it doesn't hold my interest within that 10 minutes of, yes, I want to stitch this and I want to get this part done, um, I can procrastinate on it all night and, and really get nothing done. But the last couple of times I've sat down with this, have I've actually powered through quite a bit. Um, they've been small evenings, so it's only been a couple of hours. But that is all. Um, so it is being stitched on 40 count. These are the lovely colors so beautiful okay so just bear with me really do need to find where i can put those, um, put those little mats they are so handy okay radio so what did i stitch on this time i might need to go there it might be a bit easier Quite straight, but we're good. Alrighty, so we've come across to the edge on all of them. I hadn't hadn't didn't have that before, so we are now right across. Um, we have finished all the fruit in this tree. We have finished the flowers on this one. We have started the ones on this side as well, and that beautiful bird. Magnificent tail, gorgeous, um, just lovely. I'm kind of just finished off some little wee bits down down the bottom here and started bringing up the side on this one. Um, and we've started along the base down here. So this gets repeated over here and this basically gets repeated over here and vice versa over here. So I kind of want to go up and then just come down the other side or go back up the other side. But we'll see. When I pick it up, we may change our mind. But yes. Enjoying stitching everything. And my problem is I I, I don't like being a monogamous stitcher because I, I then get really bored. Um, but sometimes I want to stitch on so much stuff that I don't give some stuff a lot of time. So yeah, it gets very little stitching on it. But yes, yeah, it gets picked up for the month. So. I need to work out a bit more of a balance. So yay. Okay, another one that I did in prep for taking to retreat. Gosh, I got a bit. 
and I got a wee bit bent and buckled, so in the bowl before. Um, was in all things be exceedingly diligent by needlework press. Wow. Being stitched with DMC thread on 40 count. This is now where we're at. So this, this here is the start of the edge, of the last tree. So it's like the edge of the whole thing. So we did manage to fill in the background on this part. We've filled in along the bottom here. So I stitched on it after retreat. I didn't pull it out at retreat. Um, and the houses were all are all prepped, ready to go. And that was the idea I was going to fold them in at retreat. <laughs> oh well, I've left them now because easy fill. So just got to finish this. Two more little wee things here, and then bring the alphabet across. And then fill in the two houses, which won't take long, I don't think. But I love jiggle, jiggle, jiggle today, aren't we? I love this one here, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So almost there. Hopefully, maybe another couple of little sessions, and we'll be done, which will be nice. Not. I'm just going to move some things around because oh, I don't want it all to tip over. It's precariously sitting on a stool. Okay, so the next one I pulled out, which I hadn't stitched on for a little while, uh, and it is being stitched with 103 silks, 100 threads. Another one, another red baby colour. Okay, so this is one of my uh, stash sampler starts for August and September. Now, uh, it definitely hadn't come out for a little while. Um, and that is, I had a father trying kind and true. Um, and that is the antique sampler reproduction from Cross Stitch Antiques. She's a big girl. Now she is being stitched on 46 count. Tie that back in there. See, using the 103s, and this is she costume knows. This is where I got to. So before I had come down the side, oops, gosh, come down the side here, we'd come across the bottom to the tree up the tree but had only done like the leaves the 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 leaves oh my gosh the trunk and then some of the branches of leaves on one side um and this house here in the corner or building in the corner had only done um the main outline in the square um so this one got all the ready Burgundy's put into it, the greys, the zigzag here for on the roof part, um, the white part of the windows, there's still some more windows and doors and stuff to go in, but coming together nicely. And on the tree, we started the snake. So here's Adam and Eve on each side. And then, because I still had enough of that red left on my needle, I did some of the um, fruit for the tree, some of the apples. But absolutely fun stitch. Fun stitch. But yeah, the reds and the burgundies and the oranges and this is just amazing. There's not, um, we've got three, four, eight, 16, 18, 18 colours in that whole thing. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be a big time, a little while before it's finished. Um, but that's okay. I really, I had a really good session on this one this time. Um, Really happy with it. The fabric, I know it said it was 46. Um, 
Looks like hog bristle. And in the right, yes, hog bristle from Fox and Rabbit. So yay. Okay. I'll just save that one for a little wee bit. Okay, another one that I picked up and worked on. There's another one with, it's not all the colours, but some of them are left. 100 threes. And that is Hannah Campbell, 1838, from Hands Across the Sea Sound Place. I haven't pulled her out in a long time either, so it was quite nice to pull out a couple of different ones. They haven't stitched on for a little while. So this came as a, um, I bought it as a catered up set from traditional stitches in America. Um, in Canada, sorry, not America. Um, so this was the fabric. It's gorgeous. Um, so I had done pretty much the framework down to the middle here um, before I picked it up again. So this time round, come across, um, we do, have done these three figs here um, and come down the side here with the blue and then started extending the bottom down. that crown to the little wee bit um, and the little wee bird in the face so there's still um, some flower stems to come out of here and I mean there's still bits to fill in around the borders and stuff but I wanted to do a bit more fun stitching than just the border the border's fun but yeah so I really enjoyed pulling Hannah back out I really yeah like so. I'm gonna say that with just about all of them this time around um, because I did I've pulled out some that I haven't stitched on for a little wee while so it was quite nice to get, bring them back into the rotation for a little wee bit. Not that I really have a rotation, I'll just grab the bag and work on it. But. That's alright. Um, okay, another another one that I pulled out. Um, and I only really worked... That is going to fall off. I pulled too hard. Um, worked on for one day. I'm going to have a... Have it, everything falling off the chair if I saw in a second. Right. Um, was Dutch Beauty. So I've been trying to pull, work on her every month. Um, just a little wee bit. And it was only a little wee bit this time. But here's the call for TMC threads. It's another one of those ones that fascinates me. It's not a lot of colours. Yet the effect is amazing. So I am stitching mine on 46 count. And I have, did I dye this one? Let me have a little, no I didn't. This one is Up in the Attic from Fox and Rabbit. I don't think I had. Okay, so like I said, I didn't, so I'm gonna unravel now. I did not stitch a lot on, on Dutch Beauty, but every stitch counts. This is where we're at. Not quite. We're just about at the centre motifs over here. But this time round, I did the lady. Started the lady in the middle. She's still got a wee way to go. Just going to fold it up a little bit. Um, so the shield is still got another colour to go in one of these. Her yellow skirt is almost done. And then she has a ready top. Oh, she's a little bit hard to see here, a little bit washed out, but she's going to be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yes, just a little bit of stitching on that, but in saying that, there's actually about 500 stitches in, in that skirt already. And just that yellow. And I did all the outlines in the, you know, as she stitched the outline of her. There's a lot of stitches in it. It just doesn't look like a lot when you look back at it it's not completed um, but yes so that was Dutch Beauty Ooh. okay so the next ones I sort of I sort of pulled out and had 
to set that on with some more Blackbird designs. And they are from Home for the Holidays. And I'm searching the stockings series. So I'm now up to my head stocking. Start again. Brain's not working. Okay, so we had stocking number one done. And we were part way through stocking number two, which is now finished. We'd have had, um, we'd gone this way, I think. Wrote down, can't remember. But she is done. Stocking number two is done. And then I was kind of, I just wanted to keep going. So then, oops, stocking number three is now done. And I have started, not that I've got very far, stocking number four. Which I think that's the bottom. The gook is going to go that way. Um, but they're, they're fun. So, we'll see it leave me one, well, basically two. There's not a lot of stuff on that uh, stocking number four. So, they, they were fun. They're fun to stitch on. Um, and I can't wait to have them done so I can get them finished. Must have been thinking about Christmas or something. Miles away, but I guess the time is flying. Okay, so the next pieces I, um, well, I had that fabric out. I have some other ones that I wanted to stitch on there. And I have the um, the newest ones that came out from JBW Designs last year, the Danish stocking. I haven't stitched that one yet. Um, but these are the ones that I did stitch. So the Bristol stocking. And this, was it the stitches topic? No. Maybe it was the Danish. It was. Let me just look at them. Yes, it was. So the Danish sampler one. And the Bristol are the two that I stitched this time around. And I have the stitches stocking and the sampler one left to do. I'm just going to pin those back here. Sorry, just bear with for a moment. I feel like I'm really just not coordinated it today. Okay, so here we go. Here's our Bristol one. I'll stitch mine on the other part of this half, which is 40 count. And then the Danish one. So I still have heaps of fabric left. So I have enough. Because basically I've used up that, that bottom half there with a gap in here I can make another one. Um, so we have enough room on the top half here for the two remaining big stockings and plenty of room for the la the two remaining smaller ones. So there's probably going to be enough to be able to fit something else on this piece as well. So I have enjoyed stitching those. Um, they were actually my morning stitch for a few weeks. Just, you know, honestly one week it was only like maybe 20 minutes each morning. Um, but when you're doing one colour... Or mostly more one colour or two colour, two shades of red. Um, you can kind of get through it a little bit faster. Okay. There's still more. I have been busy. Right. Um, okay, so the one I did actually get to stitch on every retreat was examples from the heart. And it is and they sinned. I've loved this one for such a long time. And this was another one of my um, stash sampler starts for August and September. And I am thinking about doing that again this year. Um, yeah, I have so many I want to stitch. And if I get them at least started, then I can work on them. It's, it's the procrastinating on getting them started that... Sometimes they don't get very far. So we're going to play that by ear and we're going to see how we go between now and August as to how far we get through some of these other ones. Okay, so she's being stitched on 40 count hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit. 
here is our called for uh, threads um, and most of them are sup sampler threads yep no they are sampler threads um, and a couple of DMCs just because the sampler threads weren't available when I was cutting up and for the amount that those particular colors were using the DMC works absolutely perfectly fine okay well I'm just gonna put that down so that we can see righty hi so as you can see I have got some stitching done so what I oops, what I done was the sides of the clouds are one shade of grey and all through the middle here is another shade of grey. So I'd finished this side previously and I've done the outline for the middle part and I've done the outline for this one here and I'd probably stitched about half of the outside of this one. So I did manage on the first day um, to get this fill done. And then I kind of stitched over to do a little bit on the Friday night too, I think. But I, I finished this part of the cloud and then I switched into this one in the middle and I'm going all the way around the outside and just working my way the next row in. Um, just because I don't want lines. To me, a cloud shouldn't have, have lines. So and I didn't want diagonal stripes and all that sort of thing because of the fact that the thread changes. So I'm kind of going round and round. Um, so what I'm going to do, sorry, I'm getting sore. Um, is I'm going to carry on down here with the next part of the seam and I'm just going to keep this for just I'll fill it in a couple of threads each time I pick it up um, so I'll work down here and then come back up you know a couple of threads or whatever at the start and then come down and work on a piece in the middle so right now this is where I've stitched up here and down here so I'll bring the I'll bring the sides down I think I'll bring the sides down and come down to the base and then work the base up to match up again um, and I would quite like to get by half the year through here which I think I can when you pick it up it's actually quite a nice easy stitch quite relaxing um, you're not changing colors every you know four or five threads you actually can accomplish something but yes so that was my retreat stitching literally um, let's just have a little look see okay so another one that I stitched on it was a whip was Marianne Diaper 1826 another hands across the sea samplers and yes I'm an addict two hands across the sea samplers okay so DMC threads now this has been, oh, we need to get another taller table. Um, DMC threads being stitched on 36 count um, that I've dyed myself. It's, it's a um, caramel base and it's got um, pink splotches kind of through it. So it looks kind of pinky, but if you can get it in the right light you can see the pinks and the browns all the way through or caramel all the way through um so the bottom the framework is done so then we're working on bits of the border so this time around i stitched um set of the one over one stitches in the wedding and i did tree branch um, and here and there's another bird to go to go in this part and on the other side I haven't finished it yet um, but I have started on the branch at the bottom I already had the, the bird in and I had the top part of the branch um, and then I've come down and I'm doing the bottom branches that the bird sits on on that one so just a little bit I don't think there was anything else no because i wanted to start the one over one wording so i think there's still two more lines above where i've got and then i can start bringing them right across so i'd like to get that sort of out of the road um but yes that was that was fun that one hadn't been out for a while either it was quite nice to kind of dig to the back of the pile um, and get that done okay so on the um, 
Right, that's a new start. I do have a couple of new starts as well. All right, so my last whip in the round that I worked on was Isabella Uffendel. So one of the, um, the Saturday afternoon after retreat, um, I was at work and we had a, um, a video call, stitchy get together. Um, so there was, Shan was here, she was at my house. Um, so we stitched and Judith was on the video chat with us. So that was quite nice, good to catch up with you. Um, Cause I hadn't seen her for a couple of weeks. So we did our Uffendale stitching. Um, and I worked on Isabella. And, um, now I did stitch a little bit on the Friday night as well. It's the um, Saturday afternoon. So here's the DMC threads. That's what she's been stitched with. Um, same as what Anne was stitched with. Um, and I'm using the same fabric. So this one is 36 count. And I have... Hold up, I have come all the way around the bottom. See that we're around the backboard, we can, a little bit. Okay, oops, I've just got a needle flying right towards me. It's quite dangerous. Okay, so I worked on the top half again. And I got quite a bit done. So I didn't touch up here. And I had been working the last time, which was, we worked out was, Oh, almost before Christmas was our real last get together or maybe we did one in January no oh, we might have done one in January but we definitely missed February because everyone was so busy um and I had been working on the border run in the middle here the divider um and this time around I, wanted, I just wanted to do something different rather than filling um so I started and as you can see I got a little bit done so there's still like um, the leaves or the flowers and stuff to go on them, but I got a lot of the green work done. I think there's still this side here. Um, I still need to come up and sort of do the, the leafy parts here. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be the tops. Tops of the plants and the flowers. Absolutely fun to stitch. I did also fill in, this was really hard to see. And here I did fill in, start filling in the greens along here. So this green is all the way through these. So I did do a couple of rows of that because it got a little bit hard with the talking and the counting um, to do that. So yeah, that was great and really nice to catch up with. Aren't we run in, um, yeah, Isabella. She's going to be gorgeous. So as you can see over behind my shoulder up here is where Anna's. Um, and you may notice I did change my wall around just a little wee bit. I hope, sidetrack, I hope you did enjoy um, the walkthrough of what was on my sampler wall. And as I took everything down to do that, um, and as everything started to go back up, on the back of them, they now have the design name, um, the designer that it was stitched by me, what year it was stitched in, etc, etc, on the back of them all now. Some of them did, but not all of them, so they now all have it, um, which was really great. Good to get that job done. Okay, so, on the second day of retreat, we really are muddled up around here, but it's just the way everything's fallen together in the, in the bottom of the box. Okay, on the second day of retreat, I had a start. Um... So I didn't get a lot of stitching done because I finished off the ornament and I was going to do two two ornament finishes for the class um, for myself. But I only did one, got one done. So that's fine. The other one's prepped and ready, so we'll get that finished. Um, but my stitching that I did and start was a Martha Wormsley 1847. Um, Hobby House exclusive. And... Um, Hands across the sea design. So you're seeing this everywhere at the moment on Facebook and um, Instagram and of course on YouTube. A lot of people stitching it. Um, now I dyed my fabric myself. Um, 
and I dyed Jude's for her as well. So Jude and Susie and I are doing a stitch long. The ladies are way ahead of me because seriously, this was my stitching on Sunday at retreat. And if you count that and sat there and count it, it's maybe 50 stitches. And most of that I did in the morning to get my started. <laughs> um, but gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I started this time. I started all over the place on some of them. Um, and that is up here in the center flower up top. Um, you can kind of tell. Oh, yeah. It's in here. So, yeah. So I haven't picked her back up again. Um, she may come out this week coming. We'll see. But. Enjoying that, and we'll be able to um, stitch along with the ladies. We've got stitching meet up near, not next weekend, two weeks away. Um, just now, Christchurch monthly one. Um, and it happens to fall on a day I'm not working, so that will be nice. So I should be able to get to that this time around as well. Um, and if I do, the other ladies will be there, right. so Martha will come out. So that was my new start at retreat. So, being Easter weekend, I had to do another new start, because you just do. Um, and I'm going to bend over, so hold on. Oh, it's a long way down. Sure, as you get older, the ground gets further away. Even though it probably really doesn't. Alright, so, my newest start is Charlotte with Warrington. Um, 1838. Now, this was is a design by Needlework Press, and this was an exclusive through the Homespun and Needlework group. Um, you have to order through the group, and the two stores that spon sponsored or that you could buy off this time round were Colorado Cross Stitcher and the Stitches Merchant, which was really nice for us in New Zealand. Um, and I'm sure some of the Australian stitches are a bit like that too. Um, bottom, nice to have somewhere that was a bit closer. Um, and the conversion rate was a bit better going across to Australian dollars than um, going to American dollars. But oh my gosh, I bought her within about 10 minutes of seeing her <laughs> when she first came out. So she had to come home. Um, and I've been putting off starting her waiting Oh, just gorgeous. Oh, all those lovely animals. The big red brick house. Oh, amazing. So when you, you're seeing a wee bit of this on the group, um, on Facebook, and you are seeing a little bit on Instagram coming through, and a lot of people have started up around here. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get to the bugging parts. Now, she is on my frame. Um, she has been stitched. I bought the kit with the Wheat Dye Works. Um, so it's all our lovely colours. It's a bit hard to see if there's some in there. But lots of, lots of colour that you really don't see because it's the picture of the antique. Um, and 46 count hog bristle. Fox and Rabbit um, was what was supplied with the Australian ones. Um, you could get different counts but hog bristle. Um, Fox and Robert was the Australian one. I can't think what the... If you bought your kit from America, it was... Um, Mason Lynn's Sewing Box Medium Light. Where you see it, Fox and Rabbit Hog Bristle was from the Australian store. Okay, so I have put this on my scroll rods. And the reason why is because 46 count... Um, and because she's such a big girl... And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to throw her on my scroll rolls. I am actually going to put, um, most of the time I do stitch in hand, as you know. Um, and I have been using my little hoop on the exclusive. Oh my gosh. My Phoebe Start. I got my brain just went completely <laughs> um my leap here start i'm gonna put her on a frame as well because then i can um with winter coming 
I can set my frame up in my lounge quite easily because you know you don't get as many visitors and stuff and it won't be sitting in the direct sun um, or anything like that all day so I can set my frame up and I can swap in and out between the two and my height because um, I put all that away with visitors coming so I will get that back out again and the three of them will rotate around whether it's you know a couple nights on one then the next and the next um, and then I'll still do my hand stitching on the couch with the other ones because normally if I'm sitting stitching on the frame I only stitch for a couple of hours on them just gets a bit sore on the old back and shoulders but yes I didn't want to stitch my hand so this is my start and I started at the bottom so this is right in the far corner and coming along so the there is another red line to come up here and I uh, I just haven't put it in yet because I wanted to do the internal internal border and I really wanted to get started in the grass so the grass sorry got the wobbles um so here's the start of sheep number one he's not colored in but you can see his framework our male shepherd and then you can see all the legs so we've got one two three four and this is over here is the starter number five animal um and this one here is the lady in the middle so about here is actually the middle and there's still quite a bit of way to go so i think we're gonna have some extra fabric which is nice because we did get a very big piece and I mean, here's a big girl. She is, her count is 449 stitches wide um, and 460 stitches tall. Um, but yes, beautiful. So, my finger. this is where I started down here. And this is the lady I'm currently sort of stitching on at the moment. And I want to make my way across to like the pond still bringing like the gap the, there's a dark green it's kind of hard to see Hold up. come a little bit further forward there you go you can see how there's two tones of green so the dark green is like no more than eight stitches high um in parts and then it's like you know three or four or it's got the gaps for the animal legs so i want to bring that along and i'll come in under the pond here and then probably you know i think I think for page one, two, or the first three pages, it will take me to the middle, um, which is stitch number 230 across. So I will come across to there, and I may then stitch the swans in the lake. And then I might bring the border of this grass here and come up and add that in and stop, maybe do the bay. I don't know. I haven't decided, because this is going to be a lot of filling. But I don't want to just sit there and stitch all the white animals at the moment either. So yeah, I haven't decided. But I'm definitely going to do her, finish her dress and come across to that middle and then work out. But I think I'm going to do this near, after I've got to the middle. Do that. And then maybe we start the base of that because then I can fill in everything. And start working my way up. So I want to come from the bottom up on this one. So get all the heavy stitching done first. But my gosh, absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for um, letting, us, letting us buy this pattern, eh? It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Vicky and Megan did such an awesome job on reproducing this. I can't wait. I mean, we have seen a, now seen a copy of the, um, of the Stitch version because we've only seen the antique with a computer generated one. Um, which is like here and of course you look at the computer generated and you think oh my gosh it's not got all those bright colors in it yeah it does but um yeah can't wait you know this there's, there's owls these swans there's sheep there's goats there's what else we got horse peacocks like there's so much in that grass at the bottom i'm, I'm just gonna be fascinated for ages so yes another huge start um, so, uh, still Easter weekend. Probably gonna do some more. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll pull out something else. Yeah, I want to. I want to do a little bit more on that. Okay. Um, let me just bend down because I've got a few other little bits and pieces here. Right. So that that was the end of my works.
Okay, so there's a couple of things I've bought, some things that have been gifted to me. Um, that are, that are absolutely floating around at my feet at the moment. So I'm just going to show you those. Um, one purchase I did make before retreat, but at um, Art and Frame, they had a great sale on for all the stitches that came in into Christchurch. Um, and I bought this sampler here. Um, strawberry sampler and it has a needle book and a, and a um, drum and it is from the heart needle art by Wendy um, but just cute that's very cute now we have to do a um a, a gift exchange coming up so I need to actually start thinking about that um radio so that was my before retreat I didn't actually purchase um anything Yes, I did. Um, a big Kona DMC thread. That was a that was a pre order I'd done with um, Debbie. Um, that I wanted. Um, I needed a whole cone of ecru. And you're all rolling your eyes because no one likes stitching with white ecru, but actually I do. I do. Um, and I use it a lot in my Christmas stitching. So I wanted that. Um, I got a gift at the retreat. And that was a lovely cushion. I should get it out the right way. From Elena. Thank you very much. Um, she stitched my in for Narissa. And turned into this beautiful cushion that she's finished with the buttons. And the edge. Absolutely gorgeous. And she even put 2024 so I know what year she gave it to me and what retreat she gave it to me at. Um, but yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Elena. Um, so that that will now now can go on my bookshelf and get back in this bag. Okay. Um. Now market. I have ordered a few things from market and there hasn't arrived yet. Um. But I did get gifted um Prairie Schooler 2024 Santa. And I've been itching to act. I've been itching to start him. Maybe tomorrow morning he might become my my morning start stitching. Oh, yeah, I might just have to do him. When you first seen him, um, I was a bit hesitant. I did worry about how busy the little trees in the background look. But there has been a couple of people actually stitch him already. Amazing. Um, on Instagram. And I've seen, seen them and... Yeah, it's growing on me. It's definitely a slightly different style. But, um, to have that in the background. But I actually, I think it still needs something. So, yeah. So, he's going to get a, he's going to get a start very, very soon. And I know we're not Christmas in July, but I have so many plans for Christmas in July. Or Christmas stitching I want to get done this year that I just need to get him out of the road. Because you know I stitch them every year. Um, and in that package also came Anna Marie's Pocket, which is a gorgeous little wee sampler. Now, this was designed by, hmm, this is Anna Marie's Pocket. La dee da. Yep. Um, gorgeous. So I want to get that stitch. Yeah, that could be an exchange piece too, couldn't it? Oh, decisions. Maybe I need to stitch it twice. Okay. So that that was a um, wonderful gift. Thank you very much. You do know who you are. Um, and we did agree I wouldn't say your name. So thank you. Um, there's been another couple of gifts as well. So like I mentioned before, um, Shan came and visited from Australia. Um, and we chatted, had, had a drink, um, and then we did our, our stitch thingy, but, um, Sean bought me some gifts, which is very nice, she bought me some pieces, um, but lovely, awesome little wee one, um, gatherings, and that is by With a Needle and Thread, that is so cute, I would love to see that as a needle book. I have to do that with it. Um, another sampler by, and it is 
the thread set bind us and it is called Mary Ann Warren 1828 sampler oh that is just nice and simple lovely um, and another lady da in its little red house and she knows I love my red houses this is this is only small um, actually it wouldn't take long to search up either 88 by 84 ah, what have we got Sunny GMC or silk mm. maybe we'll write each other in the DMC right. we'll, we'll put that one over there in that little wee pile of we need to get going and maybe the same with that one and that one oh they all need to be started um and the other one was pearly samplers glad tidings um homespun elegance it's a christmas one it's so cute it's so gorgeous she also gave me some fabric and hidden in the fabric i didn't notice when she was here so some black uh 36 count huge piece of that which you know i'm going to put to good juice um, lovely bright pink, and I think that's also 36 or 40. Might be 40. Bright, bright pink. Gorgeous. Definitely find a use for that one as well. And in there, because when you're talking, you don't notice these things. After she left and I went to put away, there's probably something hard in there. And lo and behold, look at this. Gorgeous. So thank you very much. <laughs> You're naughty, but I do love it. Thank you. Um, I shall definitely have to find a project to put that on. I'm sure I have. And another couple of these wonderful things that um, normally come. We normally get them with um, number 12 Stitch Co's um, fabrics when you order some. So that's great. Because I'll need those when I finish things. So thank you. Okay, so there's another piece. Let's pop that in there. Um, the other day, lovely lady Wendy. No. Wendy's is still on the way. Whose hasn't come in? Whose is on the way? Um, Claire messaged me and asked me if I was interested in stitching a project that her friend had started and was unable to finish and i love it and i said yes please would absolutely love to and she's done done on uh, three sides on oh, this beautiful sample bag drawstring it's from the um Embroiderer's Companion, a drawstring bag from the Embroiderer, which is no longer um, open in Auckland. Um, but absolutely gorgeous. It's all done in blues. So I have started going through it. Oh, sorry. Um, and having having a good look. But I'll show you show you what she has started, um, has stitched. Let's have a look. So there's two, two little wee part panels done oh one you can hardly see sorry here's the creamy creamy white um oops it's all gonna fall down now um, but yeah stitch the front i think there's still a little bit more of letters in that to go along here but pretty much that's that side stuff um and that's that's the only that's what she's worked on so far so there's still quite a bit to do um and i believe that claire has actually finished hers and that, so, um, she didn't want it, but she also made me a project bag. Yeah, three P. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them. Um, to go with. So that now keeps that project <laughs> in there. So that was great. So thank you very much, Claire. Um, I haven't haven't started stitching on it yet. I did pull it out this morning um, and had a good look at it. And we'll, um, we'll put it in that rotation and hopefully get some of it done very shortly. Um, just trying to think what else there is. I think that is pretty much it. The pile has now moved from what you've seen on the chair to now a huge pile on the floor and another pile on the basket. Um, and all the finished stuff is over here. 
So it's a wee bit longer than normal. Just a little. Um, because I do want to also add in those um photos from the retreat. So I did take photos of the um the branding table both days. Um, people took things away and then brought different things back in, which was really nice. Um, I did take something the first day and then completely forgot about my piece the second day. Which is just normal for my brain at the moment. But that's okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Roll on April. Hopefully it'll slow down a little bit this month, you know, just turn that clock back just a tiny bit. Um, in New Zealand we will have the end of daylight saving, which means the, um, our clocks will all jump backwards. Um, I'm ready for winter. And that's so that's uh next weekend, not this one next weekend. Which is great, lose an hour of sleep that Sunday for work. Um, but that's okay. Alright, can I think of anything else? No. No, I can't. Okay, so guys, just remember, one stitch at a time is gonna get these samplers done. It's gonna get these ornaments done. It's just gonna get everything that you want to stitch on. Done. Finished. Completed. Um, so yeah, one stitch at a time, we'll get these jobs done. So thank you for watching. Bye!